Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur, and welcome back to another video of Let's Play Mortal Online 2 Beta. Okay, so uh, today we're running on version 0 0.1.10.5. So, uh, you know, a few patches have uh, dropped since the last, since my last episode, so uh, SV is obviously uh, <laughs> outpacing me. But I have been uh, fairly busy in the past several weeks, so I am catching up. Oh, something's, something's there. Is that a player? Oh, it is. <laughs> Alright, so we could... Uh... <laughs> so yeah, so SV um, has... SV has recently uh, opened the floodgates for, for the public to purchase the game on Steam. They're, it's called a pre-purchase and alright so I'm just going to all right, see if this player is hostile or not. So I have been uh, doing a bit of traveling and and I have been seeing quite a number of players in my travels. Okay, hopefully that player is just out to uh, <laughs> harvest resources, not to, not to kill. Hopefully, but you never know. Okay, so I'm going to just travel a little, little bit, and today I'm just going to talk about the topic of, uh, you know, which city should I, you know, should a new player begin in after they leave, you know, when they leave Haven. Because um, so SV has made the game uh, open for pre-purchase by anyone on Steam uh, through Steam, and uh, I think they're going to make it uh, pre-purchase for on other platforms as well. So, so I thought uh, you know, and I have and I have seen uh, some players post uh, you know questions on the Mo2 forums. So, for example, there was this player. This forum user named Mason Kaiser DX. I think that's how that's how you pronounce his name. And so he was asking which city should he begin in after, you know, after, you know, after Haven. And I thought that was a really good question because I think that's one of those questions that a lot of the veterans don't really ask themselves. Um, you know, because we're so used to, you know, we've already known. What's uh, you know which city is which, and uh, you know where you know which city we like. So you know we tend not to ask those questions. Um, but you know, but when we see new players, you know, posting questions like this, it kind of it really does make us, you know, think. Um, you know, new players, you know, sort of come in and they see this game from a, you know, from from their perspective, and so as a new player. Um, I think the game doesn't really, um, you know, the, I think the game does give a brief description of, you know, what each town or city is and you know, it might give a little bit of information about each city. However, um, it's also probably the case that, that the game doesn't really you know, give enough information for the player to uh, make an informed decision as to which town they would like to begin in because uh, you, prob you probably, you know, as a new player, you probably um, only just see several lines of text and so it really does doesn't um, help you to make up your mind and so I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, you know, my take on uh, which starting city, you know, as a new player, you should begin in and this is just my advice and guidance, so you don't have to follow what I say. Um, but it is it is my take on, you know, my opinions of the starting cities so far. So my advice is, if you're new, then I would recommend that you start in either Fabernum or Meduli. Uh, you may start in Tindrum or any of the other towns as well. Um, but I would highly recommend that you start in a guarded town and you know my favorite so far is Fabernum and 
So the reason why I say Fabernum is because Fabernum has a lot of natural resources and, you know, it's a town that has read a readily supply of, you know, granum and calx and uh, trees and, and uh, vegetables. And also I think Fabernum is a little bit more uh, new player friendly, in my opinion. Uh, you know, now that doesn't mean that Fabernum doesn't have its, uh, you know, dangers. So, uh, for example, Fabernum is a is a town where ambushes can be carried out very easily, uh, you know, by play killers. So they can camp the woods, and there's a lot of places where the, you know, uh, where you know player bandits can hide and ambush. Especially, uh, you know, just right outside of town, there's, there's all these uh, trees that they can hide and bushes and, you know, behind the hills and so forth. So it's a very ideal location for ambushes by player bandits and player killers. So just bear that in mind. Um, however, on the whole, I think Fabernum is still a very good town to start in, in my opinion. Simply because of all the you know, re resources that are just readily available and, you know, you can easily, uh, you know, get up to speed on, you know, how this, how the game works and, you know, practice your combat skills and, and what have you. So another option would be Maduli. Now, now Maduli is, um, also quite a, player friendly town, new player friendly town, however, it, the, with a few differences. So with Maduli, there's, um, there's, you know, like a horse spawn, like a steep horse spawn, um, just nearby towards the east. So, you, you know, unlike Fabernum, where you have to sort of travel down to the hills and, you know, just to you know, find yourself a, a mount. So yeah, in uh, you know, Fabernum has a uh, you know doesn't have a readily readily uh, uh, supply of horse you know horse spawns nearby. So you you know if you are in Maduli, then you know chances are you'll be able to find yourself a mount relatively quickly. So in that respect, you know as a new player, you know you're in a very good position to get yourself a, a mount and possibly a few more to sell or give away to your friends. So that is always an option, and uh, and you know it's a it's a place that's you know literally built on top of a uh, cuprum you know <laughs> cuprum deposit. So it's pretty much a cuprum mine, a mining town, and so you know if you're into making cuprum, you know let's say for making weapons, then you'll you'll never be out of a uh, supply of cuprum of, you know, Saburua rocks to mine and process. Uh, however, on the downside, uh, you know, Maduli doesn't have, you know, like a vegetable garden. So you have to go out and you know, scavenge for plants and, you know, uh, food for your horse. Now there are pigs nearby, you know, right outside the town. So, you, you know, you won't have a problem finding meat if you're, you know, if, if you want to cook some pig meat or for your you know, for your pet so now the other problem with Maduli is that it is completely wide open so uh, anytime you leave anyone can see you so it doesn't matter whether you leave in one direction or the other uh, anyone can see you leaving and you know, that will be a problem because uh, you know a player killer can just sit in town and wait for someone to leave and then just go after them you know, it's very you know, very easy for the play killer and so you know just bear that in mind it's you know you it's it's, it's all about what risks you're willing to take and uh, for what benefits so so my advice uh, you know pick either Maduli or Fabernum now with Tindrum uh, Tindrum is a very big city and it might not be for the new player because it's you know when thievery comes later on, um, it's going to be very, very, it's going to be the, you know, paradise for thieves and, you know, parkour enthusiasts. So the buildings are designed in such a way that, you know, thieves can get away very easily. 
and you know it allows them to just you know take your stuff and then run off and and of course there's uh you know the syndrome sewers which is um another yeah it, it's it's essentially a dungeon uh with no guards inside so if you go in there just be prepared for a fight uh, and you know there's a saying that uh you know in places like the syndrome sewers the most dangerous monsters are the players themselves because <laughs> i've been in the syndrome sewers uh, quite a few times and and each time i you know, in, in several occasions i've been uh you know pk'd or you know someone tried to pvp me or something like that um so it is a very dangerous uh dungeon but any dungeon in mortal online is dangerous uh as a matter of course and so you know just be prepared and you know with the entrance and exit uh can be easily camped by play you know play bandits so if you leave then just be be aware that uh player killers can you know just basically you know stay in the woods and wait for you to come out and then go after you and it try to rob you or you know or just kill you uh right on site and then take your stuff okay now with other towns i've not really uh you know lived in those towns for any extended period of time so i can't really comment on those however what i can tell you is that uh you know uh, first of all i just uh, i should have told you this from, from the beginning i should tell you that uh it's highly recommended that you do not start in Kranesh or Galkor because those two towns those two towns are never guarded that is to say they do not have uh, you know town guards so if you spawn in one of those two towns then you have to face the possibility of uh, being you know killed uh, you know upon entering the town you know because player killers um, who cannot enter blue towns that is uh, that is to say guarded towns like Meduli and Fabernum and Tindrum and uh, Warrenker and so forth uh, they will be able to stay in Kranesh or Galkor uh, without being uh, killed by the guards because there are none and they will never have guards so my advice is stay away from those two towns unless you are someone who just wants to you know start off right off the bat with pvp you know upon leaving haven you you are faced with pvp straight away because there could be you know any number of uh, player killers that is to, that is to say murderers who uh, have killed other players and have turned red and so they uh, galcor and uh Kranesh is their you know safe refuge and so now now what I can tell you about uh, Moronko is that it's a very, it's another big city, just like Tindrum. However, it is a, it is built in the hills. It's uh, literally built in, you know, in the, in the mountains. And so, you know, there's, uh, there's some, uh, you know, long staircases that you have to navigate if you want to go from the, the main city to the, to the back to its backyard i would i would call it um to the backyard of uh, moron Kerr. so you know just be aware of that there's uh you know you, you do not want to fall off the staircase and fall to your death and and uh you know moron Kerr, i don't know whether you know <laughs> rpk uh the guild rpk would be back to uh, to control that city uh because in mortal online one they were I think they actually, uh, you know, they actually controlled, you know, Moron Kerr for, for some period of time and, and they even warred off the entire city so that, you know, my, one of my characters was stuck inside Moron Kerr and I had to just basically leave with, uh, you know, just minimal stuff. I tried to, I tried to take as much stuff out of my uh, bank in Moron Kerr, but, you know, I couldn't take everything. So I had to, and, you know, they locked off the, uh, the entrances. They, they put a password in, with a, with a toll. So you have to pay like something like two gold each time you want to go in and then put in, put a password in there. So, uh, so RPK did control Moron Kerr, uh, for some period of time. So, so they may or may not be back, uh, when the game launches into, you know, when the game 
launches on the 25th of January 2022. Um, but my speculation is that they will be back. Um, I do know, I have seen uh, a few of the RPK members already on the forums, so uh, they may be plotting their return, <laughs> as it were. So, uh, so if you plan on starting in Morongo, just be aware of that, uh, that RPK may be back. And as, as their name suggests, uh, you know, RPK stands for random player killing. And I think that's what that, that guild is, uh, you know, that's their, <laughs> may, not, may or may not be their pastime. I think they, I think they do, um, you know, uh, PvP battles with other guilds and so forth. But I think their guild, their guild name is synonymous with, um, you know, random player killing. So, and I have been killed by a few of, few of their members. Um, uh, one of the one of the members was cocaine uh, back in mo one uh, when the, the game launched into early uh, you know launched on steam uh, rpk was there to camp all, you know, all the new players that came in and so you know that's just a little bit of background for you you know with modern Kerr. and of course modern Kerr does have that uh front uh you know, what i would call a gauntlet you know there's a very narrow pass that you have to pass through to get in or out of Madu uh, you know, Moronker. And so, you know, it may or may not be to your liking. You know, Moronker is a, you know, it's probably uh, one of those towns that you want to be careful in, you know, if you, if you decide to start in, start in that town. So just be aware of, um, of the risks there. And uh, now with other towns, like Vada, Bakti, and Moki, uh, you know, those other towns along the southern part of the continent. Uh, you may or may not like those towns. Uh, they are situated in the, you know, in the, in the tundra uh, with the, within the forest as well. So it may make it easier for you to get lost. I don't know, but uh, you know, you certainly, uh, I think, uh, you know, you certainly want to you know, be aware of, um, of those geographical, uh, characteristics of those towns. So, you know, like I said, you know, you don't have to start in, you know, either Maduli or Fabenham. This is just my advice. You can start in any town you want, even in Galkor or Kronesh. However, um, you know, just be aware that, uh, you know, this game, the game world is six times, around six times larger than what it was in mo1 so you know if you start in one town that you later regret then it's going to become much harder for you to you know move everything out and to your new town you know you because it takes a long long time just to travel from the nearest town to the, you know from one town to the nearest town like i say from fabernum to tindra even that takes you know around 30 minutes on foot something like 25, 20, 25 to 30 minutes. So, you know, this gives you an idea of how, how long it takes just to get from one town to the next. So, uh, choose, that's why I say choose carefully, um, you know, and so that's one part of the reason why I'm doing this, doing this video as well is because, you know, unlike in Mortal Online 1 where you can just, you know, easily migrate, move all your stuff, uh, to another town in Mortal Online 2, it's, it's much harder to do that. And so that's just my, my advice to you on, uh, you know, starting, you know, starting on a new, new town, uh, starting, you know, after you leave Haven, you want to start in a new town. You, uh, you don't know which town to pick. Um, yeah. So, so just to recap, um, I would recommend that you stay away from Kunesh, Kunesh or Galkor because those two are perpetually unguarded. It's a law that those are lawless towns. So unless you want to start in a lawless town from the very beginning, I would suggest that you don't go to either one of those two towns. Instead, I would suggest either Fabernum or Maduli. And if you want to, you can also start in Tindrum, but I would advise against that. And, uh, and you know, like I said, you know, Moran Kerr and Vada, Moki, uh, you know, Bakti, you know, those, those other small satellite towns towards the south, uh, you know, they can, you know, you can choose, choose those towns, but just be aware of the, 
you know, the forests and, you know, the tundra, which may, which may or may not be to your liking. You know, I personally prefer the wide open spaces and the, just the verdant, uh, sort of, you know, uh, pleasant verdant location that, you know, Fab Fabernum is situated, situated in, you know, that's my, that's just my personal preference. So, you know, and, you know, I think Fabernum is, you know, it's built on a, on top of a high mountain. So, uh, you know, it's not going to be very easy for, uh, you know, if you, if you, if you want to leave town, you can easily sneak your way up. Uh, without being seen you know i've done it several times and there's quite a few uh back doors and you know ways for you to sneak out without being seen so if you if you if you value that kind of um ability to come in and out as you please without uh <laughs> without you know without 10 eyes looking at you from within the town like maduli then you may like to you know start in uh Fabernum, Fabernum instead and so that's so just you know, so that's my so that's the my advice for you know new players you know when they finish with Haven and they want to leave for the mainland and you're not sure which town to pick um, you know that's hopefully this has given you some useful useful advice for you know choosing your starting town and so I will be back uh, next time to talk about uh all right <laughs> so that's uh <laughs> that's bear and his horse <laughs> oh, <it's>, oh. <laughs> I'll ask him if he can give, 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 me, give me a horse. I don't think, I don't think he's gonna, <laughs> I mean, come on, <laughs> walking around with three, is it three horses or four horses? It looks like, I think it's three horses, but I mean, <laughs> man, <laughs> could, could you, uh, could you give me a horse? <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's uh, very nice of him. Uh, so, <laughs> I will wave you goodbye. Thank you. Thank you for your generous uh, gift. Okay. Uh, so now I need to feed this, feed this horse and his hunger, he's very hungry. So okay, 
So they just wait for him to, and we'll feed him the common via my my artist as well. Okay, so that reduced his uh, hunger by some amount. So it will take some time for them to eat, just like humans, just like the player. Sorry, we'll give him. Uh, no, he doesn't like the my artist. Okay. So it's kind of, um, in this game, SV has made it so that you know, horses don't just eat whatever you put into their mouth. Some foods they just simply will not eat. Alright, so we're going to have to... So I'm glad I bumped into that, into that guy. Um, what's his name? Orla, okay. So, good thing I bumped into Orla, um, <laughs> who was walking around with, um, you know, <laughs> three horses. I'm going to try and find a way to get down from, from this place safely. Okay, so, you know, so this is a little bonus, bonus footage for those of you who are watching. Mountain climbing in this game is a hazard, hazardous activity, and it, it takes a, and there's an art to it. Um, it you know, what I'm doing now is trying to get down from a mountain without falling to my death. And it works sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't work. But for me, it has worked fairly well in the past. So, um, you know, carrying that skill over from MO1 to MO2. Okay, so I think, uh, you know, hopefully I've um, given you a good idea of, you know, which starting town you should go, go for. And so now if, you, if you're still not sure, feel free to ask, you know, in the comments section below. And I'll try my best to, um, to answer them. And now you can also go on the forums, uh, you know, and ask. I'm sure other players will give you, you know, their perspective as well. They might they might be able to tell you, uh, you know, give you a little bit more, you know, their own perspective on on what they think of those towns. So, you know, feel free to ask around, ask on the forums, and and uh, so you know, because because I think it is a very important choice because you know, like I said, you know, with the game world so big now, it's you know, if you start in the in a town that you later regret, then it's going to be very hard for you to, you know, to move to another town, short of um, deleting your character and recreating it, which is going to be time consuming and not exactly ideal. So it's always a good idea to, um, you know, to get to get to know which town first, uh, to get to know the towns first before you, you know, choose one. And so thank you to Mason Kaiser DX. For his question and uh and hopefully uh and hopefully in future we'll be able to see more you know perspectives from new players and and see how they uh and you know because because like i said at the very beginning you know a lot of the times you know these questions we veteran players we never ask because you know we just don't you know <laughs> we, we we already know the towns every single town off you know off the back of our heads so you know, so we don't ask those questions, but for new players, I think it's really good that they, you know, new players are asking questions like this because it, uh, you know, it, it helps SV as well to um, maybe improve their, you know, the character creation sections where, you know, dealing with choosing a, uh, you know, with after, you know, leaving Haven, you know, which town to go for. So, so yeah, I think it's, I think it's a really good, Good question that, that Meisen Kaiser is asking. So, so thank you very much for watching this video today and hope that you found it useful. And I will be back next time to talk about uh, player griefing and toxicity in the game, which is a, uh, I think, one of those things that you'll run into at some point in the future, you know, when, once you start playing. So I will talk about that in the next video. And of course, there are other videos. I have about 14 other episodes in this game guide series. So 
if you're interested, please check out the link in the description below that will take you to that playlist. So I will be back next time. Thank you very much for watching today and please remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching. This is Fly Gaming Connoisseur and I'll see you next time. Take care.